it's time to honor some of the great rock bands from England. Now we're talking bands that are considered English prominent membership or classic lineups featuring English musicians, not British, which means greats like Queen, Cream, or Dire Straits that tend to be under the moniker of British bands won't be on this list. Blur. Damone Alburn and company have drawn influences from several rock bands we'll highlight later on the list. Uh, They have also incorporated their own level of creativity and originality to an alternative indie psychedelic rock sound that some music fans might always associate with English acts. Uh, There's also enough elements of pop to blur sound that make the band a, a hit to mainstream audiences around the globe. Roxy Music Led by Brian Ferry, Roxy Music was influential on many musical fronts, most notably as part of the glam rock scene of the 1970s in England. However, it has also played a role in opening the doors for British punk rockers and new wave acts that adopted parts of the look and attitude of said bands. Ferry and fellow bandmate Brian Eno enjoyed solid solo careers, with Eno also having tremendous success as a producer. T-Rex Though Mark Boland's band was well in tune with its glam and psychedelic sound, T-Rex as a whole still had the clear rock and roll attitude. The London-based band was massively popular in the United Kingdom, thanks to hits like Get It On and Telegram Sam. However, it also had a major influence on the U.S. groups such as R.E.M. and Guns N' Roses. Sex Pistols The Sex Pistols were the epitome of rebellion and anti-establishment, at least publicly, Johnny Rotten did so. It helped usher in the punk movement in the United Kingdom and did not care who was ticked off in the process. Of course, that was the point. The Pistols made just one studio album, but it is still giving a massive middle finger to the establishment. Joy Division Influenced by the Sex Pistols, Joy Division was one of England's most popular and revered post-punk rock outfits of the late 1970s. The talent of late singer Ian Curtis could not be argued, and the personal, mental, and physical issues he dealt with were often exuded in the band's somewhat manic sound. Yet, there were plenty of melodic and darker moments to its music. Following Curtis's suicide in May 1980, surviving members Bernard Sumner, Peter Hook, and Stephen Morris went on to form techno-pop giants New Order. The Stone Roses While the Stone Roses didn't garner the consistent mainstream success like other English bands of the time and after, they're widely regarded as one of the pioneers of the Madchester sound scene from the working-class town of Manchester, The Roses excelled in mixing rock with alternative and indie and even some dance sound. The band's self-titled 1989 debut is regarded as one of the top English albums ever. The Smiths Another one of Manchester's finest, the Smiths are not only beloved in the United Kingdom, but are also still celebrated worldwide as one of the great alternative indie rock bands of all time. Through Morrissey's baritone voice and the crunching guitar of Johnny Marr, the Smiths gave us critically acclaimed albums like their self-titled 1984 debut and Meat is Murder one year later. Yes. While other English progressive rockers veered off in various directions during their runs, Yes has tended to stay true to its roots. Even when enjoying success in the mainstream, pop-rock world at times, while the band has undergone several lineup changes, its music is quite relevant today and has been a major influence on acts like Rush, Dream Theater, and Tool. Def Leppard Originally from Sheffield, Def Leppard went from being part of the new wave of British heavy metal to one of the biggest bands in the world in the 1980s. Thanks to albums like Pyromania and pop rock crossover smash Hysteria, Joe Elliott's uniquely raspy voice and the double guitar attack made Def Leppard a force on the hard rock scene and also a mainstream giant thanks to producer Mutt Lang on MTV. Judas Priest It took some time for Priest to get its due as a heavy metal force, but in 1980s, British Steel was an album that left a lasting impression on bands like Metallica, Megadeth, and Anthrax. 
Rob Halford's operatic voice is one of the most recognizable in all of heavy metal and hard rock. Though the band enjoyed more success into the 1980s, it was never able to consistently sustain it. Yet, in the annals of English hard rock and heavy metal, Priest is an important figure. The Moody Blues Progressive rock in England, or the entire UK for that matter, have been quite the successful pairing over the years. The Moody Blues were a major part of that movement, but also shined by incorporating elements of conceptual and psychedelic rock with a touch of pop. No doubt, Knights in the White Satin remains the Birmingham Hall of Famer's signature tune. Deep Purple The family tree of musicians and bands that sprouted from Deep Purple is truly amazing. Though the dynamic voice of Ian Gillen and the raunchiness guitar of Richie Blackmore paced the band's most commercially successful period of the early 1970s, the group which spawned the likes of David Coverdale and Glenn Hughes is one of the true pioneers of the hard rock and heavy metal sound. Oasis Manchester's Oasis was known as much for the antics of often volatile relationship between brothers Noel and Liam Gallagher as for its stellar alternative pop rock sound. When the two were on in sync, relatively sober and not totally at each other's throats, Oasis was tough to beat. And when the tension was high, the band still delivered some of the best music of the 1990s. It's a tough to top the one-two punch of Definitely Maybe in 1994, and What's the Story, Morning Glory, to kick off a career.